To write the balanced net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus Li3PO4, we first need to balance the molecular equation. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with the nitrate ion, these are very soluble. So we write AQ, they'll split apart, dissociate into their ions. In general, this phosphate, compounds with a phosphate are insoluble with a few exceptions. Lithium phosphate, sodium phosphate, those elements here in group one on the periodic table, they are soluble. So lithium phosphate, that's an exception. We write aqueous. But calcium phosphate, this is a group two element. So this is insoluble. These substances react. We get this solid here. It's a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. So we have solid here for our calcium phosphate. So these are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that gives us the complete ionic equation. So that'll look like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So we have our reactants on the top, products on the bottom. In the reactants, I can see there are six nitrate ions here. And then again, we have them in the products. So these are spectator ions. We cross these out. Six lithium ions in the reactants. Then in the products, six lithium ions. Cross them out. What's left is the net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus Li3PO4. Let's remove these spectator ions. And this is the balanced net ionic equation. You can see that the atoms, they're balanced, and the charge is balanced too. 3 times 2 plus is 6 plus, 2 times 3 minus is 6 minus. This all adds up to 0. Net charge of 0. This is neutral. Net charge of 0. So that's the balanced net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus lithium phosphate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.